Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, if your name is Drake, you want a weird PR cycle. If you guys don't know, I just did live the other day. No, it's not about Drake's wiggy, BBL Wiggy's man unit. It is not about the man unit. However, <laughs> however, it, it and go ahead and watch that live if you guys have a chance. It's really good. It shows with Drake what's going on with Kick and all that other stuff. And you guys, needless to say, it is very, very bad. Um, I also put in links. I want to give a shout out really quick um, uh, to uh, to um, uh, 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 Showface News. Sorry, guys. I want to give a shout out to Showface News. Um, he did a really good deep dive. The links for that is in the description box in my live I did yesterday. And also, um, I want to give a uh, shout out to Catch a Kick PDF file. The link is in there too. There are two great things you need to see it. We go in depth, pull all the receipts from Twitter. Drake is going down. What does it have to do with Drake and Italian soccer team? Baby, the word on the street is Drake is trying to get out of his contract with UMG because UMG is yanking his chain and letting him know, baby, serve your master, Lucian. And also, it looks like all the stuff that Drake was doing online, the people, the, the alleged PDF file ring that he was funding and all that stuff, they're saying that it's about to come out that 100 gigabyte leak. He did it as a distraction. UMG actually stepped in and told him, baby, you better bow down. There is so much going on. But the gist of it is what the streets are saying is Drake is trying to figure out what his life looks like without music. Because after this Kendrick stuff and the stuff that's come out with the kick app, with the monkey app and all this stuff, go watch my live to explain what's going on. I'll explain it a little bit, but the live goes in depth with all the receipts. He's thinking that his career might be completely over. Y'all, let's get into this. First of all, let's talk about this Italian soccer club that Drake supposedly saved from bankruptcy. What is wrong with Drake's PR team? Even when they want to flex, they have to do this pseudo fake nice guy thing. First of all, Drake, this is, I saw what you're doing. Oh, I saw what I did in the God's Plan video. I'll look, make it look like, a, like you're altruistic. First of all, and a soccer club is not a human being. So you, like bankruptcy, like there's Italian millionaires, they'll survive. But let's be real, because I found the actual details of it. He's trying to make it seem like he did this from the goodness of his heart because Drake's PR team is stupid. But at the end of the day, um, this was a business an investment. Drake and his PR team are, it's ridiculous. Like you made a business investment that will probably bring you back millions if you don't gamble it all away. Right? I'm sure Vegas wants Drake to do a residency. They gonna have him in house. He gonna be working for them by the end of it. This isn't some altruistic charity that Drake's doing, okay? And doing such a great thing for this team. He literally made a business investment. Let me just get into this business investment really quick. And then we can talk about how um, the whole Lucian UMG situation, which by the way, they just announced that Lucian and his son, Nicole Richie's uh, baby's dad, husband, Elliot Grange, own 40% of all music in the world. 40% of all music in the world and some of the top acts, okay? TMZ posted, and this was with Drake. Drake saves Italian soccer team from bankruptcy, helps raise 40 million. A well-known Italian soccer team was on the verge of going bankrupt, but after uh, starting from the bottom, now they're here and it's all thanks to Drake. Why did Drake plant this? I think because he doesn't want people to notice what's going on with Omega and with Kick. I'm telling you, go watch my live. Drake was accused of funding a PDF file ring and there's actually video receipts of what the girl that he's helping and the thing. The thing is, I'm beginning to think it's the other way around. I'm beginning to think Drake has a problem and this girl was down to do, be his jizzy Maxine to Drake and that's what's going on. But I'll talk about that in a different video. Let's get through this. Um, they're saying uh, Venezia FC is one of the most beloved soccer teams in the country. Da, 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 da. After years of struggling to earn promotion, the team finally made it back to... Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, uh. However, because of its spending at the top level, the club found itself struggling financially with substantial debt. Looking to avoid being sent to Series D, 
Brad Kasumia, a co-owner of the squad, made a desperate call to a friend for help. Matt, Maddie ba Babel, part of the Six Gods management team as well. Why did he tell TMZ to refer to him as Six God? You don't need, you a 69 God, freaky A ninja. Anyway, right? Had his hotline bling and everything fell right into place after that. He laid out the problem simply. Venetia needs to raise 10 million euros in a couple of weeks and then at least 30 million euros in a few months or the club will go bankrupt. Venice is an, an incredible city. They're also racist as hell. And Venezia has always been a special club. I spoke to Drake and then Brad and I discussed how we could help. Babel said within two weeks, the two sides settled on terms and raised the money needed to make payroll and avoid bankruptcy, raising 40 million from different North American investors and Drake's involvement paid the way. The value of Drake in any football club is undeniable given his global superstardom and brand reach. This intersection of culture and sport is exactly what we want to be. And as a sports organization, the ability to tap a brand like whatever. Also, anyway, uh, first of all, why are they trying to make it seem like Drake saved a baby from a burning building? Like at the end of the day, you made a business investment into a team. You're probably going to lose it all gambling, but hey, that's just my opinion. But the fact that Drake is so hard pressed for one, other income streams, and two, good press that he's now saying, because we don't like his influence in hip hop anymore. We don't like his influence in music anymore, right? I mean, you might. So when I say we, I mean me, right? But Drake now has to let us know that at the end of the day, his influence helped save a soccer club from bankruptcy. Now, why is this important? Because listen, Drake leaked a data dump. Let me get into this because this is a really funny part. Drake leaked a data dump. And it was actually really pathetic, right? Because you know that YouTube channel, What's Dirt, that does deep dives and all this stuff. Drake was trying to get people to do a deep dive off a random burner account content that everybody's saying that Drake leaked. Drake don't even understand what deep dives are, right? It was a secret account where he dropped 100 gigabytes of unreleased music. He also dropped stuff of him talking about Rihanna, him obsessing over Venus, I'm sorry, Serena Williams and all this stuff. He probably planned this because one, they thought Kendrick was going to drop on the 8th. We now know that there was a, like a Catch a Predator documentary that came out. The links are in my live under Drake's uh, exposed for funding a PDF file ring. Um, we now know that at the end of the day, um, we now know that at the end of the day, people are saying he was trying to draw attention from that. But one of the interesting things that actually happened, right, was that UMG, after that leak, pulled the music out. Now, why is that important? Well, because it makes Drake look really, really pathetic. Why? Because remember when Kanye West said, where's Lucian, serve your master ninja, right? I'm looking at the tweets, right? I agree with, you have to look at UMG and Lucian Grange, right? This also debunks the myth Building Drake, that, that mm, I'll just say it. This debunks the myth that Drake stands and Drake are trying to build, right? That Drake holds all this power of record labels and that he dictates other artists' contracts and that they enable him to make percentages off of other people's streams and et cetera. They were really trying to make Drake out to be this hybrid between record exec star maker and superstar himself. You know, this debunks it completely. Some type of hybrid. When it turns out, just like Kanye West said, Drake is a glorified worker that doesn't have any more power than any other artist. He doesn't even have the right to release his own music on his own terms. Kendrick, I believe, had the right to release music on his own terms. He even would not like us took off the copyright claims for a couple of weeks so all the bloggers and YouTubes could eat off of it without copyright before rightly so. He then took his rights back after three weeks. Drake doesn't have the right to do that. Drake can't even drop 100 gigabytes of unreleased music because at the end of the day, what Kanye said is true. You are a glorified worker. The fact that you tried to drop that music 
to change the conversation and UMG literally shut it down and said that Drake doesn't even have the right to release his music early? Like, think about this. Drake genuinely flew too close to the sun. I think he's now realizing he has zero power. That $400 million deal is the same deal Diddy had, same deal Kanye West had. You flew too close to the sun. Look at these tweets. He's realizing he has zero power. Drake works on label terms and at their leisure. That would explain the way he can't even go away peacefully after Kendrick destroyed his image. He can't even like, they keep making them the sexy red, the Camilla Caballo, the, the thing with little Yachty. Now, like he was forced to work. And when he was like, okay, I'm going to release the music and drop that hundred gigabyte burner count. They shut it down and said, no, you don't have the right to even release your own music. He works on the label's terms and he works at UMG's leisure. Like Drake can't even take a break for a second. And he tried to go around the label to release music and they shut that down. It makes me believe, remember when, let me find this tweet. Remember when Kanye hinted at knowing that Drake is literally in the position that Kanye was years ago? And Kanye knows that Drake is just, just as much a slave and at the mercy of the execs as Kanye was. Again, this is getting weird. Again, again. And the one thing I do want to say about this, Drake is such a weirdo. Because even when, if you aren't laughing at the fact that UMG shut him down and said, boy, you work for us. Get on out there, right? He's such a weirdo. As Illy Lily said on Twitter, He's doing this thing where he's trying to mock Kendrick for being fake deep while at the same time, he's actually trying to high key imitate that deepness and mysteriousness. He wants people so bad to find the hidden meaning in those dumb posts and videos while trying to hide him being him while trying to hide that he's the one that leaked his own burner account and also trying to hide that it's him hiding behind his burner account mocking Kendrick. I think that Drake is probably insanely jealous and bitter over what's dirt lyric breakdowns and all the breakdown on Kendrick's Not Like Us video. Again, we doing breakdowns. We in the streets, but Drake, we giving you what you asked for, but not what you wanted. Oh, we're doing breakdowns, but we're doing big drowns about all your... Um, we're, we're, we're doing breakdowns about all the shady Omega and kick stuff and what you're actually funding and the streamers that have been called out for exploiting youngins, how you're financing them. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.